Biden admin backs down from Russia as U.S. warships turn back from Black Sea, Ukraine. This is a topic report, and the topic is Ukraine tensions rise as Russia moves and U.S. moves moves in, as Russia moves in and U.S. moves out. So these stories will show that. U.S. warships heading to Ukraine turn back after Russia warns them to stop for their own good. The sun.co.uk. Imagine what that does to the U.S. military's morale that President Biden, the, 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 the collective known as President Biden, if you will, uh, that President Biden, it says here, Biden blinks first. How demoralizing is it for these troops that they're on their way? And that now, not that I was in favor necessarily of the U.S. being there in the first place. I'm personally not, but I see how this looks. Once you make the decision, wow, to just to just back off. And then the, uh, the, from, from the sun here, we have U.S. warships steaming toward the Black Sea have reportedly turned back after Russia warned Joe Biden's military to steer clear of the region. Turkish diplomatic sources said the passage of the first American ships through the Bosphorus due to happen on Wednesday did not take place. The Andul... Oh, so they didn't even release this uh, publicly. The, 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 Turks, the Turks are telling on Biden. Boy, the Turks, the, I tell you, the Turks under Erdogan, they don't care. They don't care. They tick off everyone. Uh, the Andalus State News Agency said both deployments have now been scrapped with Turkey reporting it has not yet been informed of any rescheduling. The Kremlin had earlier warned U.S. warships to stay well away from Crimea for, Crimea for their own good, calling their deployment in the Black Sea a provocation designed to test Russia's ner- Russian nerves. There's not going to be a war between Russia and the U.S. Let me repeat, nuclear weapons, okay? So everybody stop it. When everybody said, oh, North Korea, back uh, when Trump was still president, they had the whole North Korea scare. Oh, it's going to be a war. Oh, and then there was the Iran scare. Oh, it's going to be a war. No, there's not. Nuclear weapons, folks. Nuclear weapons. The United States is our adversary and does everything it can to undermine Russia's position on the world stage. Right. That's the nation. That's the nature of nation statism. That's what nation states do. Stop trying to pretend that you're not doing the same thing, Russia, and United States come. Conversely, let's not pretend that we're not doing the same thing. We're working in our best interest. In the case of the of of the powers that control the United States of America, the corporate nationalists, they're not really looking after the interest of the United States of America because the United States of America is King Bill, Bill of Rights, and that is something that they seek to change. That's why they're doing the whole critical race theory and all that stuff. But they got to play a, 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 a game with it to some degree. And they're certainly not in favor of Russia leading the way as far as the new corporate nationalist reality. Because Russia is still a traditional nation-state power, as is China, traditional nation-state power. The United States of America's power center is in corporate nationalism, which seeks to destroy all nation-statisms and have, uh, I mean, optimally, I mean, I don't think they'll ever get close to this, but optimally what they would love is a one-world corporate nationalist uh, empire but that'll never happen because corporate nationalists are filled with psychopath killers just like politicians are. So the minute that they consolidate power, somebody will say, there can be only one. And then there'll be a fight for the one, and there, there's no one power that has all the power to control them all. At least that's what I surmise. And we'll go and look at more stories connected to this. We have U.S. cancels Black Sea deployment of two warships. The United States has canceled this week's planned deployment of two warships into Black Seas. Turkish officials and media said on Wednesday... Not the United States official release, so we'll see how this plays out. Secretary of Russian Security Council fears Ukrainian invasion. So, Kremlin has sharply changed its rhetoric and is already talking about the probable invasion of Ukraine and occupied Crimea. This is from Defense Blog. Russia sends 15 warships to Ukraine after warning U.S. Detroit destroyers to turn back. 15 warships. This is from the sun.co.uk. So, 15 warships are heading to Ukraine while... And I always want to say the Ukraine because I grew up with that. But now they're like, no, it's Ukraine. Whatever. CIA says, oh, and that was from, oh, I did say that's from the sun. CIA says Russia's military build up now enough to launch incursions into the into Ukraine. And this is from, this is from the nationalnews.com. So the nationalnews.com. William Burns says President Biden called Vladimir Putin to register very clearly register very very clearly the seriousness of our, our our concern even if the united states is not officially pulling back the ships the fact that they delayed it is 
is more than enough for Russia to know, yeah, we, we don't have to take you seriously. You're not an impediment. You're not any significant impediment to, impediment to what we're doing. I thought this one was really bizarre. Giant armed robots loom over street of rebel-controlled Donetsk as tensions rise in Ukraine. Rebel-controlled, that's, that's what we're going to call it. Uh, this is basically Russian-controlled. And, and like I said, what you'll end up with is you'll end up with the Russian nationalist versus the Ukrainian nationalist, but it's really Russia uh, and its proxy and the United States, Turkey, and whatever, and their proxy. And meanwhile, Russia and the United States and whatnot, they get to test their toys on the lives of other human beings, not their citizens. And this is, this is a case in point. This is just bizarre. Giant armed, armed robots loom over streets of rebel-controlled Donetsk as tensions rise in Ukraine. This is a real story. Tanks of the Ukrainian armed forces are seen during drills near the border of Crimea. But they will do little to quell the unrest developing in Ru and as Russia's military forces continue to build up uh, close to the Ukrainian border. And then the last story we'll call, uh, focus on here, Russia ramps up war games, ignores U.S. warnings over Ukraine. And of course they will, especially because the United States had ships sending along the way. Whether they eventually get there or not, it's probably less likely now since Russia has rushed, has, has, ru Russia has rushed 15 warships into the region. So it's less likely, significantly less likely that the U.S. warships will show up. There's that story. Wonderful.